had a sniffly nose earlier this week, and I really didn't want to get sick. So I took an Airborne. Airborne is a nutritional supplement. It's full of vitamins and minerals, and those nutrients will help me fight off a potential bacterial infection, right? Maybe not. Bacteria require nutrients, too. One of these nutrients is manganese, a metal that both bacteria and humans require because it helps them proteins function. Research over the past 15 years has shown that bacteria make specialized systems that help them to steal manganese from the host that they're infecting. Hosts, like humans, also have specialized systems that they use to hoard manganese and keep away, it away from the bacteria. So what happens if the bacteria infects a person who's taking airborne, which is really high in manganese? Does the bacteria go, mm, yummy, manganese, and cause a horrible infection? On the other hand, what if the bacteria infects a host that's on a low manganese diet, like red meat, grapefruit? Is the bacterium starved for manganese and unable to cause serious disease? These questions are the focus of my thesis research. How does dietary metal alter bacterial infection? To test this, I'm using a mouse model of infection. I feed mice diets with various amounts of manganese, and then I infect them with Staphylococcus aureus, which is a bad pathogen you probably know as staph. And I found that when mice are fed diets with more manganese, the infection outcomes are worse. In fact, in this experiment, I infected mice with staph, and then I monitored their survival, which is shown on the y-axis, in the hours following infection, shown on the x-axis. And mice fed that highest manganese diet, shown in the red line, most of them die from bacterial infection. And those that survive have incredibly high numbers of bacteria in their hearts and other tissues. So manganese has a profound impact on infection. In order to understand exactly what's going on, for the remainder of my thesis work, I'll be making genetic changes to the mouse and genetic changes to the bacteria to see if those specialized systems I mentioned earlier are required for these bad outcomes in mice fed a high manganese diet. I'll also look at the immune system to see if the immune system is changed by the amount of manganese that you eat. I believe if we can understand how nutrition impacts infection, we could mitigate a lot of infectious disease risk around the world. And I'll also be able to answer that question. Should I take that airborne? Thank you. <laughs>